Hi everyone, Kyle here from Bostic Family Light Show. On today's video, we are gonna to put together our Pixel to Thanes DC board. This board has nine DC outputs plus six servo outputs. It still takes the normal pixel data in. It also can give you pixel data out just like the AC board. So we're gonna show you how to get this put together in an enclosure, how to configure an X lights, and then how to control some servos. Here we go. The Pixel to Thanes DC board is similar to the AC board as far as layout goes. The input and output for pixel data is still up here. You have DMX output over here. You have your nine channel outputs. The DC board has two power inputs. One is to control the different outputs over here. The other is to control the six servo motors over here. So we're gonna get this thing mounted and into the enclosure, then we'll start wiring it up. All right, so now we are gonna open up X lights and get this configured. So what I do is I use the channel block. So that is next to the candy cans up here. Go ahead and you can drag this out. By default, it's going to give you 16 channels. We wanna change that to 15. And then I change the name of this to P2TDC for pixel to things DC. You can call it whatever you want. Go ahead and save that. Jump back over to the controller tab click on visualize and we can drag the prop to the correct port. Go ahead and do an upload input and upload output. From there, jump back to the sequence tab. You can click on a new sequence. For this, I will do animation at 40 frames a second, but this doesn't really matter. And then over in display elements, you are going to double click on the pixel to things board. That will give you your 15 different outputs over here. And for the servo motors, you have strands 10 through 15. The DC motors are one through nine. And you can change the name of these over in the layout tab. So if you have something specific you wanna control, you can give it a specific label. So when you're sequencing, it makes it a little easier. Go ahead and you can drag an on effect to the, the port that you, or the channel rather, that you want to control. So in our case, I have the servo motor connected to servo number one, which is channel 10. And the way this works is the servos have a very specific value aligned with the motor. So when the motor's facing a certain direction, that represents a value from zero to 100. So what you'll do is come over to brightness And you can set a value curve if you want, but what this will do, if I do say like a ramp from one to 100, the motor will slowly start turning. So let's see what that looks like. So once we click on the output to lights, you will see the motor start to move. And the longer you drag this out, the slower the motor will move. So you can see the motor is moving it's moving a little slower now. If I drag this down, it's going to move much faster. So you can play with this. You can get you know, super creative. You can add value curves to make it go you know, a certain direction. If you're trying to make a servo control an arm and you want it to wave back and forth, you could do like a sine wave or a sawtooth type of value curve where it will basically react with the music like that takes a lot of playing and kind of tweaking to really get it to line up and to look right, but that's how you would control it. 
So I've controlled some really interesting things with this board so far. I have used it to ignite fireworks. I've used it to control non-DMX fog machines or snow machines. You can use it to control water pumps, windshield wiper motors. Really, the sky's pretty much the limit. David did a really good job with this board, and I'm super happy with it. Unfortunately, the board is discontinued now. David has moved over from a Pixel to Thane's company over to Experience Lights. So if you haven't checked that out, definitely do so. They have some really great products coming out and can't wait to check some of those out. So this isn't a sponsored video. It's just some products that I've enjoyed and I've seen a lot of people have questions on how to set them up and configure them. So I wanted to do a video. So if it was helpful, give us a thumbs up or comment. Let us know if you have any other questions and we'll do our best to help you out. So thanks. We'll see you next time.